again sa ating episode dito sa Princess on a Budget. Today, we are going to be talking about how to produce your YouTube video. Lately, I've been very busy trying to build my kids' channel. Um, it's been three days now that I'm trying to revamp it um, and try to improve the channel itself. And on top of that, we still have to go through the usual routines of the day. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is how we have set up our YouTube studio here at home. I have older kids but I have a 9 year old and a 7 year old and it's quite easy for me to manage like telling them that this is our station now and this is how we're going to be keeping our station and they are more excited to create content and video than me. They have lots of ideas, probably because they spend a lot of time in front of uh, YouTube. Talagang fan sila. So I've decided to use what I have on hand to set up our YouTube station. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time to do so. Our channel here is Princess on a Budget and I upload once or twice a week. To give you an update on how to save money and ways to stretch that penny right also i wanted to do a shout out to my husband who has been working on starting up his sideline business a caricature drawing business so you can finally order your own caricature just in time for father's day and he will do it in three to five days so you can have option to have a digital file only or have it printed and framed. So all those options are available right now. And I'm gonna show you what he did for our own family. We still have the traditional wall, uh, wedding pictures, pictures ng mga bata. We still have that, but we have added this interesting piece in our living room, definitely an attention grabber and a conversation starter. And I'm excited to reveal it right now. Right here is my husband's work of art. I admire it so much. It adds that necessary pop into the living room. As you can see, it's like a burst of color and it's a perfect reflection of what our family is about. It's about fun, having adventure, being wacky and unpredictable. So this is a perfect representation of what we are. So if you would like, to get your own caricature made for yourself or for that special someone, reach out to us, send me a message through the contact information I'm going to be putting in the description and also I'll be giving you his direct mobile number if you would like to speak to him right away. Anyway, on to our real content for this video. I'll be showing you ways that I've set up our YouTube recording station right there, right now. First up is the space. So it's just basically a corner of our kitchen right beside the dining room table right here. And we have used our photography backdrop as our backdrop. So basically taping it on to the wall. So it provides a really beautiful background. You even have this creative curve right there. Really unusual and interesting. So this is where we do our videos. So starting now, we are going to be filming here. We used to film on this side, right here. So I would post it, the same material right here, and I would transfer it on this side of the wall. But I figured it's much e easier this way because if you have like a clear um, corner where it's kind of seamless and you can angle your camera so that the sides are not seen like the different parts of the house so it's pretty cool this backdrop was for sale for I think $13 and I found it on amazon.ca arrived in about two three days so awesome how we got this backdrop initially um, it's not really for YouTube it's actually for our decorating business so we had uh, rentals 
for party backdrops and this is what we did. I'll show you some pictures of what we do. So basic, I have to have a tripod. This is even free. I got this from a friend and it's not really meant as a back, as a tripod. I just fixed it and attached my selfie stick. So what I want my kids to learn and to practice is that make use of what you have be creative and think about what you already have in the house and find new ways to use them so this is an old tripod and i'll set it up for you so you can see how high it goes you can even do like over uh sorry um aerial shots kind of not so high though but you can do aerial shots over the table so if you're baking or, if we're, or we're doing some card games on the table we are able to do that with my tripod so this is how tall my tripod can get i would say about seven seven and a half feet tall and yeah so i have attached a selfie stick on top so you can maneuver and move it the way you like right there you go I guess this is going to be the most unusual thing you will see today. I have my own light projector at home. So from college and high school, I used an acetate projector or overhead projector. So we have one at home and I got it for $5 in a garage sale. And why would I have one like this at home? Aside from I think it's really cool to have one at home. I use it for making my um, letter cut out so I would cut out or print out my desired font and I would flash it onto the wall and I would trace whatever is on the wall depending on the size projected and then that's that's how I transfer so it's an old style method but I like it because basically you have this light source right so you can use it for several things and that's what I thought of when I was looking for a ring light. It's costing me about $50. I think if I would want something off of uh, Amazon or Marketplace. So I have this and I use it, I use it a lot. Um, before the pandemic, we had lots of events and I use it. So it works perfectly. I'll show you how it brightens up the room. So basically just turn it on and put the mirror high so it hits the ceiling right there and the light distributes in the room so you have a brighter space compared to when you just have regular light so it's an awesome find i think it's an awesome hack too and saves us money it does the job right instead of collecting many many things that pretty much do the same thing anyway so it kind of extend the use of the things that you have already you can pretty much set up a youtube station or a video area for almost next to nothing uh, just utilizing your stuff at home you don't have to buy every single thing you just have to be creative and think about ways to make it work for now until you get lots of um, I guess funds for a more sophisticated uh, backdrop or whatever so that's my share to you today and if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel click on the next video and I'll give you some tips because we're pretty new here in doing um, YouTube videos and we had lots to learn we wanted to make sure that it goes out to the next person who wants to do the same thing whatever the agenda is right so